Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today we're going to do another of the Star Trek crew. This time we're going to do Captain Kirk himself. So, we're going to start with a single loom in the offset configuration. The arrows are pointing towards you. If you don't have arrows, it's the open part of the peg that is pointing towards you. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs together as if they were a single band. And we are going to be using brown for his hair, skin tone. I'm using the rainbow loom tan for his skin. Um, we're going to use black for his trousers and we're going to use yellow for his shirt. Now it's quite tricky to sort of do the hair too differently. Uh, he's sort of got slicked hair but there's no real way to um, to differentiate um, that particularly. We could try maybe without a... no I think that would look really bad. We'll still give him a fringe or bangs as you call them here. So some skin tone bands I'm going to take a single band and use it as a crossover and then for the eyes I'm going to take a single band and twist it three times and place it across the two pegs that I'm going to put the eyes on. The reason I'm doing that is to stop the beads from falling to the back of the head. I'm going to put my beads, which are mini pony beads and they're black, on my 2.75 crochet dude hook. You can use floss, you can use a metal threader. I have a tutorial on how to make one of those from a twisty tie on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can use bands. You can take a black band and wrap it around your hook four times and then take another black band and wrap it around your hook four times. So you have two sets of black bands and you slide those on to the single band and then you place it over these two pegs like so. Push them to the right area and then taking your hook take the first the top part of the band and just lift it over so it sits above this peg the other side sits underneath it and it works as a crossover band for us we're going to take three skin tone bands to use as a neck push everything down and then we will start with some black around the neck for his collar and we will do yellow for his shirt. Now unfortunately the yellows are a bit tricky because they're terribly vibrant but uh, really don't have much choice. There is no other option. We're going to do three pair down on either side but only two pair down in the middle. And then we're going to use some black pants for his pants. We're going to do two pair for the middle and then all the way down to the end of the loom on both sides. At the crotch area we're going to take two black bands and place from the centre to the right and from the centre to the left 
and we're going to put an end cap on the centre. Wrap it once and twice and pop that there. We're also going to do boots down here. So take two black bands, wrap them around your hook once and twice and slide onto two black bands like so and reclaim the end. Two black bands, wrap once and twice, slide onto two black bands and then you're going to take the two that are closest to the end of your hook off and onto those bands and then you're going to swap places of those bands for the other side and put those on like that and then reclaim the end of your band. Place this shoe on the end of the leg. That was my cat saying hello. Two bands, wrap once and twice. Slide onto two bands and reclaim the end. Two bands, wrap once and twice. Slide onto two bands. Take these two up and over and swap sides up and over and reclaim. Point the shoe the other direction and pop onto the end of that peg there. We're going to do some crossover bands and I'm just going to get these out of the way so that I have some room. Taking a single band, stretch and place in a triangular shape. And these are black because the black pants are the predominant colour. So another one there. And then yellow. Stretch it over these three. And over these three here. We're going to do some arms. A single skin tone. Wrap it once and twice. And that's going to slide onto a pair of skin tone. You're then going to have four pair of yellow. So this is our first pair, our second pair, our third pair, and our fourth pair. And they will just get popped on here. Let's do the same for the other side, a single, wrap it once Oops, and twice slide onto a double reclaim and then we do four pair of yellow so one two three and lucky last Four. These are crazy loom yellow bands, and I have to say, I've never used them before. I'm, I'm, I'm not too upset with them. They're quite nice. Slide them on, and we are ready to do our looping. So pull the foot back, grab those two bottom black bands, and the same this side. Now, when you loop up. To the pants here. I like to make sure that my pants are covering the bits to the sides. So dig down, grab the two top bands and loop them over and then loop this up so you've got the consistency. Dig down, find the two black top bands, loop across and then loop up so that these ones are on the top loop up and loop up oh, 
Okay, from here I'm in the middle, go up the middle, do the arms, and the neck, which is three. Wiggle it up if you need to. Now we go for the top two, and the next top two, down the middle, up the sides. Now please remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you have complete control of how fast this video goes. You can pause it, you can rewind it, you can fast forward it, you can mute it. You have the control in your power to do whatever you like and, and to go the speed you like. Not everybody is slow, not everybody is fast. Um, I'm going particularly slow to some people, I'm sure. So I can't slow it down much more than my own natural speed. And I can tell you, I, I've got faster as I've been doing it more, but I wouldn't consider myself a fast loomer. Um, just take it at your own speed. It's not a race, okay? Two brown bands push down through the end of this um, peg to the side. Turn your hook so the smooth side is going against these bands and you don't snag anything. And move to the outside of the peg like that. The two closest go up and over and off and you pull tight. Now, we're going to take this off the loom. I like to use the back of a metal hook to help me with that. I just find it puts less pressure on the bands and I, I really don't want bands to break. I can fix them when they break on the loom, but when they break when I'm taking stuff off, I kind of turn into a green snarly beast. side and we're going to get some gold bands once we've stretched them out stretch them out a bit I'm just going to place him here for a second now for him what we're going to do again we need to put the emblem on his shirt so dig through the back grab a gold band and pull it through and you're going to make the bottom of this, and it's going to be a triangle, larger, wider, I should say, than the top. I'm just going to pull one over the other so that it is minutely secure. <laughs> Ultimately, you will need um, an S clip or something like that to keep it in place. Um, if you have one handy, you can pop that on now. Now we go in again, a little bit narrower at the top here than we were at the bottom. And you want to make sure that you don't go in at the same spot. Because if you do, when you pull the band back to the back, and you can see that one's pretty, pretty close, it just goes straight through. And that's not what you want at all. I think that one is too close. So I'm going to pull that out and go through here and it doesn't hurt to stretch these bands out and see exactly where you're going to be putting okay so there's my other side aha sneaky grab that I'm going to put one over the other like that I'm going to Attach it to the hook, a uh, clip, and just pull this out. And it's supposed to look like a little sort of triangle. It's his, the emblem on his suit. 
Now for the hair, all I'm going to do, you can use a hook if you want to. I prefer to just grab my hook, push it through some of the bands that are already at the back of his head and pull these through so that they're sort of discreetly hidden. Now when I say pull them through, I don't mean distort his head like I just sort of did. <laughs> But just discreetly hide them behind some of the existing bands there. It's in a slip knot. I really don't think it's going to go too terribly far. So there we have Captain Kirk to add to our little crew. We've got a few more to make. Hope you enjoy making them. Take care.